Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to perform histogram equalization on a given image with gray level distribution. Before we proceed with a simple example, we will try to understand what is a histogram equalization. Histogram equalization is a computer image processing technique used to improve the contrast of a given image. Let us say that we have been given an image and if we want to improve the contrast of that particular image, we can use histogram equalization. Let us say that the original image looks like this, that is uh, before uh, histogram equalization. After performing uh, histogram equalization, the image looks something like this. This image has more contrast compared to the original image. So this is what is called as histogram equalization here. Now we will take a simple example to understand how histogram equalization is performed in image processing. Let us say that uh, there is an image with uh, eight gray levels that is zero to seven here and we have been given the number of pixels for each of those particular levels for zero level we have zero number of pixels for level one we have 100 number of pixels for level two we have 400 number of pixels and so on so given this particular image we want to perform histogram equalization on this uh, image here for that reason first we need to calculate the total number of pixels here that is n is equal to summation of uh, nx here that is nothing but 0 plus 100 plus 400 plus 50 plus 200 plus 50 plus 200 plus 0 that is equal to 1000. That is nothing but the total number of pixels in a given image is 1000 here. Now once you calculate the total number of uh, pixels in a given image, now we need to calculate uh, the probability function, cumulative distribution function and then we need to calculate the multiplication between cumulative distribution function and the number of levels minus one and then we need to round that particular value here. We will try to perform each of these particular steps one by one. First we will try to calculate the probability of each of those particular levels. So probability of each of those particular levels is calculated by this formula where nk is the number of pixels in each level divided by n that is nothing but the total number of pixels here. For gray level zero the number of pixels are zero here. So 0 divided by 1000 that is equal to 0 here. For gray level 1, the number of pixels are 100 here. 100 divided by 1000 which is equal to 0.1 in this case. When it comes to level 2, we have 400 pixels here. So 400 divided by 1000 which is equal to 0.4. Similarly, we need to perform or we need to calculate the remaining probabilities here. Once you calculate the probabilities, they look something like this for each of those particular levels. Next, we need to calculate the cumulative distribution function that is nothing but SK here. So we will start with the gray level 0. So gray level 0 has the probability 0. So this will be 0 here because before that we don't have any levels here. Now we need to add this particular 0 to the next probability that is 0.1. We will get 0.1 as the cumulative distribution function here. Now this probability that is 0.1 is added to 0.4. We will get 0.5 here. And then 0.5 is added to the next one that is 0 0.05 we will get 0 0.55 and so on so similarly we need to calculate the cumulative distribution function for each of those particular levels once you calculate they look something like this now once you calculate this sk that is nothing but cumulative distribution function we need to perform the multiplication between cumulative distribution function and the number of levels minus one the number of levels are 0 to 7 that is nothing but there are 8 levels are there here. In this case uh, L is equal to 8 because uh, we have been given 8 levels L minus 1 will become 7 here. So 7 multiplied by SK, SK is nothing but the cumulative distribution function here. So 7 multiplied by 0 in the first case we will get 0 here. 7 multiplied by 0.1 we will get a 0.7 here. 7 multiplied by 0.5 we will get 3.5 and so on. So we need to calculate all these particular values. So once you calculate these values, they look something like this. Now after performing this particular calculation, we need to round off this particular values so that we will get the levels for each of those particular pixels in this case. Now once you round off this particular zero, it looks like uh, zero here. 0 0.7 is rounded to one. 3.5 will be rounded to four here. 3.85 will be rounded to again four here because 3.5 is uh, uh, near to 4, 3.85 is again near to 4 in this case. 5.25 will be uh, rounded to 5 here because 0 
is less than you can say that 0.5 which is near to 5 in this particular case 5.6 will be rounded to 6 here 7 will be rounded to 7 and 7 is again 7 here so these are the new what you can say that the levels here we have level 0 we have level 1 level 4 level 5 6 and 7 here we don't have level 2 and 3 in this particular case so what it indicates is in 0 level we have 0 number of pixels here in level 1 we have 100 number of pixels in level 4 this and this are the two things so we need to add these two things here 450 we will get 450 pixels here in 5 we have uh, 200 pixels 6 we have 50 pixels 7 we have 200 plus 0 that is equivalent to 200 over here we don't have any pixels in level 2 we don't have any pixels in level 3 the same thing i have written in this particular table these are the old levels and these are the old number of pixels these are the new gray levels over here now once you calculate this particular new gray level we need to draw the histogram over here uh, this is what actually we have calculated now we will try to draw the histogram here to draw the histogram we will consider these particular gray levels on x-axis and number of pixels on y-axis and then we will try to draw this histogram so this is how the histogram looks like for original image for zero that is zero level we don't have any pixels that's the reason we got zero here for level one we have 100 number of pixels so we got 100 here for level two we have 400 pixels for level three we have 50 pixels and so on so this is how the original histogram looks like now once you calculate these new gray levels we need to draw the new histogram or you can say that the histogram after performing histogram equalization so in this case for level 0 again we have 0 number of pixels for level 1 we have 100 number of pixels for level 2 and 3 we don't have any pixels for level 4 we have 400 plus 50 that is 450 pixels and so on the same thing I have drawn in this particular chart here so this is how the original histogram looks like or you can say that the histogram for the original image after performing equal uh, equalization we got this particular the histogram over here this is the simple process what we need to follow so that we will get equalized histogram of the gray level distributed image in this video i have discussed how can we perform histogram equalization on the given image with gray level distribution i hope the concept is clear if you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.